Families from all across New England, maybe even beyond, they'll be <laughs> heading here to New Hampshire over these next few weeks for skiing and snowboarding because it's basically February vacation now and the excitement of winter sports, Jamie. Mm -hmm. It can lead to adults, kids, everybody rushing out onto the slopes, perhaps without preparing for all of the physical activity that comes with being on the mountain. Right, so yeah. to help you avoid what can be a common injury, a tear or strain to the ACL or other knee concerns, we are joined by Dr. Neil Goldenberg, an orthopedic surgeon and chair of sports medicine at Cheshire Medical Center. And let's start with that knee injury. How exactly is this happening on the ski slope and what are some other common injuries that happen while going down the slopes here? Well, thank you for having me. ACL injuries are actually one of the most common injuries that can occur on the knee slope. In fact, injuries to the knee in general are incredibly common. These occur when there's a uh, pivot or twist, often with contact or non-contact. And often our uh, patients will report hearing or feeling a pop with some swelling in the knee, followed by pain, perhaps even an inability to get up and ski down the slopes. Um, that's all concerning for a tear of the anterior cruciate ligament or that ACL. You know, Dr. Jamie and I have skied forever, New Hampshire and beyond. I've broken a couple of bones along the way. I know you've had some injuries, but the point of that is it's you, you can't always prepare, right? You might hit some ice, you might, you might fall, you might land awkwardly, but is there anything in, in your experience that you can say truly helps to prevent knee injuries and beyond when you're skiing or boarding or anything on the mountain? Great question, you're right. You can't always prepare for everything, but you can prepare for some things. And I think trying to prevent a knee injury is really important. Uh, some ways to do so is ensure that you're wearing properly fitted equipment, that it's been serviced uh, recently. And then also when you do hit the ski slopes, you've warmed up first as well. Uh, make sure you take plenty of rest breaks so that you're not fatigued, uh, that is important. And also make sure you're skiing to your level, but not well above your level. So stay in your comfort zone. Are there exercises you can actually do at home to help prevent this? I know that strength training is crucial in every sport. I imagine if you're building up the muscles around the knee, that would eliminate some of the chances to get injured? Absolutely, you're correct. So there are ways to prevent ACL injuries, and we've actually rolled out an ACL injury prevention program in the community here at Cheshire Medical Center. Uh, it's important to work on strengthening as, as they're demonstrating on the video, as well as uh, your body's awareness in space, what we call proprioception, agility exercises, and plyometrics. Great examples are uh, squats, lunges, and also working on your core stability. All those things can really help prevent an injury to the knee. Physiologically too, men are obviously built differently than women and kids are still growing. So who's most at risk for those real specific knee injuries like an MCL or an ACL? Who, are you, who do you see the most? So I think the most at risk population are our young healthy athletes. It's the kids that just wanna go out there and have fun. It's this 14 to 25 year, year old population. Uh, they're at most at risk for injuries and specifically our female athletes. They actually have a two to six times higher uh, rate of ACL tears than their male colleagues. Real quick question before we go, which sport would you say leads to the most knee injuries? Great question. So undoubtedly, I think soccer has a very high rate of ACL injuries, but so does football and basketball. Interesting and points. Yeah, <laughs> and, and skiing, skiing yeah. of course. <laughs> Dr. Neil Goldenberg, a pleasure to have you today. Thank you, and we hope you see no new patients off the mountains during school vacation week in New Hampshire. Excellent. Thank you so much for having me. Take care. Now.